Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daniela and we are here to talk about books. So I'm going to jump straight in and I'm going to tell you what I will be reading in January of 2022. First up, I have picked up three books from the library. These are books where I wasn't sure if it was something I would be bothered about owning and they had them at the library and I really fancy reading them right, right now. <laughs> right now. So I reserved them like over the Christmas break and then I picked them up in the new year. So the first one is The House in the Cerulean Sea. Uh, this is by TJ Clune. I don't know a lot about this book. I've heard a lot of people talk about it. I've heard very good things. I don't think I've seen anyone say anything negative about this book. So this book is about a man who he's in his 40s and he works in the department that's in charge of magical youth. As part of his job he ends up going to this orphanage and at this orphanage there are these children that are dangerous, they're classed as dangerous and all I know is he spends some time there and he ends up really really liking all of the people at this orphanage and I don't really know anything other than that. So I'm hoping it's going to be a very nice, pleasant, light-hearted story or very uplifting. I don't know. I don't really know anything about it but I just I just really fancied something kind of along that, those lines right now and I'm hoping that is what this book is going to be but again I don't know. So this is the first book on my list. I don't think it's the first book I'm going to read but I'm definitely going to read this this month. Next up I picked up two books. It's a duology and it's by a particular author and I have boarded the train of this author and I do not want to get off it. <laughs> so basically uh, I've read two of this author's books in December which I will tell you about in my wrap-up video which is still to come and I, I just I need more. I need more. I do own a couple of other books that I picked up in charity shops and I'm just I'm saving them. Um, but this one I didn't own and I wanted to read it but I don't know so far the other books like they've made me laugh they've made me cry um, but I felt good afterwards like I feel like they were quite nice books um, I'm not sure if this one's going to be so I have the first book which is Bear Town and then Bear Town's sequel uh, which is Us Against You now I don't know much about these I'm pretty sure someone has mentioned these books might include sexual assault I, I haven't looked up any trigger warnings please do look up the trigger warnings if that's something that you feel you need to do I might have different triggers to what you might have and therefore you should look up the trigger warnings before jumping into any of these books for your own sanity and also I tend to not know much about books before I do read them so I might not know about stuff that is in the books that would be a trigger warning and I don't tend to look them up so please check for yourselves before jumping into books uh, but I know it is based in a small town there's something to do with a children's ice hockey team or maybe high school high so ice hockey team basically there's the town's hockey team it involves that I read like the first paragraph that was an excerpt from this book it was at the end of anxious people uh, I will read it to you this is the first chapter of this book it's five lines and it's the first chapter of the book late one evening towards the end of march a teenager picked up a double barreled shotgun walked into the forest put the gun to someone else's forehead and pulled the trigger this is the story of how we got there so that's the first chapter in this book <laughs> um so yeah i don't know how this is going to go, I don't know if this is going to be enjoyable or not but I just really like Frederick Batman's writing and I like how he manages to make he managed to make his characters so relatable and even when they end up in situations that you maybe haven't been in he manages to somehow give you something to relate to with that character uh, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to these that's all I know about them they might not be for you but I'm really enjoying his writing at the moment and so I'm really excited to read these next on my list is The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman this is a fantasy book again I know nothing about it but my partner Andy he's read this and he said that I should read it he thinks I'm gonna like it but he did have to warn me about something in the book 
um, because I have a phobia of choking and like other people choking and that does happen in this book so he did warn me about that so I wasn't really sure if I want to read this but he's assured me that it's not like descriptive and it doesn't last very long and so I'm gonna try read it <laughs> that's all I know about it that the, it has choking but someone chokes on something and it's a fantasy that's all I know uh so yeah I'm gonna try that one and see how it goes <laughs> The next book I want to read this month is called No Exit by Taylor Adams. I have watched, I've seen a few people mention this and I've seen, and they've said that it's like one of their favourite fillers, it's like up there. So I'm really looking forward to reading it. Katie Coulson on YouTube, she raved on about this book and she's really influencing a lot of my book choices recently, like the Frederick Batman that was started from watching her videos. Um, so I'm really excited about this one. So far, the books I have read that I have been influenced to read by her have been very good. So I'm looking forward to No Exit and hopefully I can let you guys know what I think about it next month when I do the January wrap up. So I have a total of six books on my TBR for January. If I get to more, that's great, but ideally I would like to complete these six books. The last book on my list is Shatter Me by Tahera Mathi. This is a romance, it's fantasy I believe, and it's about a girl, the main character, apparently if she touches you, you will die. If you have skin to skin contact with her, you will die. Somehow there's a romance involved in this, not sure how yet, uh, but Fairy Loot are doing the, they're doing special editions of the Shatter Me series. I think there's about six books in total and there's some novellas that are getting included. So I wanted to read the first book, see if I like it, see if it's something I think I'm going to enjoy because I might buy those because they look stunning. <laughs> The artwork's lovely, they've got really nice spread edges, uh, they look very nice. I think there are something, that's something I would like to have on my shelf, um, but first I want to test the book, see if I like it, see how I feel. So yeah, that's on my list. We could do to read that pretty soon actually because I think they're putting that up quite soon so I do need to jump on that as soon as possible. So that's it guys, that is everything I am planning on reading in January. I might read more, I'm not sure yet and if I do, I will let you know about those in the wrap up next month but do let me know down below in the comments what are you reading this month have you got any recommendations for me for february's tbr at the moment i like i'm open to reading anything because i'm still trying to establish what books i like previously i've been reading a lot of fantasy december i ended up reading a couple of books that weren't fantasy and then this month most of my books are not fantasy because of the books I read in December so I'm open to anything so tell me what your favorite books are tell me what you're looking forward to and I will see you next time guys